Hey everyone, it's Ted, the Buffalo Beauty Boy, and I am super excited for this video because I am making a hair video. I don't make a ton of hair content, not because I don't love it, um, but I find it a little bit nerve wracking because I find myself overcomplicating things um, because I'm a hairstylist by trade. So if you are new here or if you didn't know, I am a professional hairstylist. I have been working in a salon for about eight years and that is my bread and butter. That's my daily life. That's what really kind of sparked my introduction to the beauty world. So I tend to not make a ton of hair content simply because I find it really hard to not immediately go into like hairdresser mode. Um, so I'm going to try my best to just keep this as approachable as possible. Before we get started, I am going to kind of go through the products that I'm using and I'll talk a little bit about my hair. So this is all my natural hair. Um, it's pretty long and it's naturally curly. This is a blowout from like three or four days ago. So I'm going to kind of refresh it, but I do wear hair extensions. And I always wear clip-ins. The ones that I'm going to wear today are from Glam Seamless. And this is the David Lopez in Glam Seamless uh, collection. And David is a professional hairstylist. I will have them linked below. But the set comes with four pieces. So two bigger ones and two smaller ones. And it was designed to just give the hair a little bit of bulk and a little oomph. And the way that I apply them is very similar to how the directions say, but a little bit different. The directions say to put the foreclip in first, like right at the base of the ears, and then put the five clip in on top of that, um, you know, an inch or so up. I do the opposite. So I put the five clip in first and then the foreclip in on top of that. This is the shade cream beige balayage and I think it's a spot on match. The root is a little bit warmer than my natural but when it's underneath I don't think you can tell whatsoever. So I'm gonna put these in and then I will show you how I refresh my hair. So to start I go right from the corner of the ears back and you just make you know like you're sectioning out a ponytail. Clip that up. I'm using an alligator clip. These are my favorite. You can find them at Sally's. These ones are by, I think, Color Track. Um, super old, but I love these because they're super grippy. And now I'm taking the five clip piece. So, you know, unclip them all. And then I like to start in the center of the head with the middle clip and snap it closed. And then I go side to side. I don't know how well that translated on camera, but that's the first piece in. Oh, for the second section, what I like to do is go, I like to go like a finger width above the eyebrows and then straight back. Now I'm taking the four clip piece. And again, just clipping that in. I like to work from the center out. Before I put the sides in, I like to detangle my hair and just make sure that there's no hairs like caught in between the tracks, in between the pieces. It's really important when you're wearing hair extensions to be super gentle. I'm using a um, brush that has plastic bristles and boar bristle. This was actually sent um, with the um, David Lopez collaboration extensions from Glam Seamless. So it's really, really beautiful. Plus it's gold. Like how stunning is that? The extensions themselves are 20 inches long. My hair is about 18. So they're not a wicked ton longer than my actual hair. The only customization that I have done on them is I trimmed the two shorter pieces to just have some layering. So when you buy extensions, they're one length from root to tip. What I did with these ones is I just kind of angled out the front. So you can see 
that this is a little bit shorter than this. So when I put them in, it matches my face framing. These ones I like to put in on a diagonal. So what I do, I like to go about an inch and a half from my forehead and then back. And when you do that, you'll kind of feel the pieces that you put in the back. So you can see that diagonal section, clip it up. And then this is where that customization comes into play. I want to make sure that I'm putting the shorter pieces towards the front and the longer pieces towards the back. And I like to kind of go from that edge of the second piece and then forward and clip that in. And when you put them in, it almost makes like a U shape. And that is how hand tied extensions are applied. So I wear my clip-ins probably, I don't know, I'd say maybe like twice a week. And I very seldom get like, oh, do you have extensions? I just get like, your hair is really pretty. So that is how I apply any sort of extension, whether it's a full set, whether it's four pieces like this. And I just really feel like such a realistic looking head of hair. Now, again, these are 20 inches. I am a large man and I am like 5'8", five, 5'7", five, depending on depending on what shoes I'm wearing. So 20 inches on, you know, anybody else does feel pretty long. And I do recommend putting them in and going to a hairdresser and having them style them and cut them for you. Um, especially only wearing four pieces like this. It's really just to add bulk to the hair. So now these are curled, um, you know, but I am going to go in and just kind of recurl them and make them look like really, really, really good. So now I'm going to spin and show you the back. The reason I love Glam Seamless is they're super comfortable. These are invisible wefts. And when I part my hair, you know, if you're looking really, really close, you might be able to see a little bit, but when my hair is down and styled, you can't really see anything. And that's because the root colors are so good. I find a lot of the times with blonde extensions, sometimes the root is way too light or way too dark. So any of the rooted shades, I find match my natural color really, really well. So I think especially when people are wearing extensions, they tend to overthink styling their hair. And what I like to do is just hit them with a curling iron. I'm using a large barrel. This is a, I think 1.25 and this is from Kristen S. So I'm actually gonna turn that on. Um, I have it set to 365, which is perfect for my hair. Um, and while that heats up, I'm gonna put in some heat protectant. I already have my hair mostly styled and I have a lot of beautiful like leave-in oil heat protecting products. So I just like to spray my ends before I heat style or touch up. And I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Heat Shield. I like this because it has bond building properties and it, um, I feel like it really protects the hair without being too heavy. And I just like to brush it through and anytime you're using a spray like that, anything that's non-aerosol, you do need to let it dry completely before styling. So a lot of people tend to look for really natural products or, you know, just they think that things that have alcohol in them or things that have certain ingredients are bad. And that's not always the case. A lot of heat protectants in a mist formula like this will have a higher alcohol content and that may sound bad, but it's cosmetic grade alcohol. They know what it is. It's not rubbing alcohol that you're using to clean a wound. It's specifically used to formulate products like this so that they are quick drying. So just in the time that it took me to brush it through and talk to you, my hair has dried. 
And taking that 30 seconds to just let it dry makes all the difference. I feel like we've all seen the video of the girl. This is like a vine, so it's really antique. But she sprayed her hair with heat protectant, wrapped it around a wand, and her hair burned off. And that was because her hair was still wet. It wasn't the wand. It wasn't the heat protectant. It was the fact that she put wet hair on an iron. So I tell everybody, my clients, my friends, when you're curling your hair, put in your heat protectant and just, you know, maybe, I don't know, put on your shoes and make sure they're comfortable or have, you know, a sip of your coffee or whatever. But really, you want to let it dry. And because my hair is smoother, um, because it was blown out and then my extensions do have a bit of a curl in them, I don't really have a whole lot to do. Um, so this technique is not going to be amazing if you have super curly hair. My hair is naturally pretty curly, but I do have it smoothed. But this is going to be great for if you have a smoother hair texture or you have a blowout or you curled your hair a couple days ago and you're not quite sure how to re restyle it, but you don't feel like washing it and going through the whole rigmarole. I don't really section it. Um, I just divide it into two sections over my shoulders. I take a pretty large section of both the extensions and my hair. I find when people are wearing hair extensions, they tend to overstyle their hair. So they overthink it. They want to style their hair and the extensions separately. But I find the more you kind of meld them together with styling, the more cohesive and natural it looks. So I'm taking a really big section. This is the, you know, the underneath of my hair. And I'm wrapping it around that iron and I'm going slow because I'm using a lower heat and you want to feel it kind of get warm it's not super hot and I'm just wrapping and winding around that iron and because I had a looser wave I'm going to actually curl it. I'm going to do that like blowout, bouncy kind of look. So I'm not undoing it the way that I would if I was creating a wave, but I'm just letting that hair kind of work around the barrel. And then I'm holding it up and dropping. The reason I love this Kristen S. Iron is because it has, it's so ergonomic. It just, it's, everything's really intuitive with it. And because we took that big old section, I'm going to wind it up and then I'm going to use a roller clip. So a lot of the girlies are using rollers in their hair and that's awesome. I love it. But pop over to Sally's and get some roller clips. The reason I love them is because they have this little triangular opening, which is perfect for holding curls. So I'll just put that on and let it sit and I can go about the rest of my head. So I'm gonna take this section, again, I'm not really like separating my hair or being too meticulous about it. And this iron has this cool touch um, knob at the top, which I love. Um, I have been, very, very lucky to receive some PR from T3. And while I love their products, I love their irons, I always go back to this Kristen S one. And it's one that I recommend to my clients. I think it's like 60 bucks at Target. Um, I know now they're at Ulta as well. So just a really good product. And I'm kind of, because I have that wound around the whole barrel, I'm just kind of pulsing the tong to help kind of keep it moving. And then I'm going to drop it into my hand. That's okay. It's okay. So if it does kind of fall out, just rewind it back up, taking another one of those clips and placing it on. As I get closer to the front of my head, I will be a little bit more methodical with my placement, but I'm gonna do the other side 
and we will catch up. So now that I'm towards the front, I'm gonna kind of create that like 90s blowout kind of supermodel texture. And I've curled everything away from my face. This I'm gonna curl towards my face. So I'm gonna kind of carve out a front section of my fringe and it's almost like a horseshoe. So we're just gonna clip that up and away. And I'm gonna take this whole big section, making sure that it's thoroughly detangled. And a good way to know how to curl your hair forward so you don't get that line and that hook is that you want the tong on the iron to be behind the way that you're curling. So if I'm curling away from my face, I would put it in front, but because I'm curling towards, I'm putting it behind. And the back and sides of my hair really only take me like two, three minutes. Um, and the front is where I spend more of the time. So because it's a smaller section, you want to work a little bit quicker. And you can see I'm just kind of using that tail. Or you can see I'm using that tong to kind of loosen it. And then we're just going to roll that up. And pin it. I know that looks a little wild. <laughs> so again, just making sure the hair is super thoroughly detangled. And then putting the tong to the back. And curling forward. You want to make sure that you get those little tail ends in. That's what's going to give you that really polished 90s blowout effect. Versus if I'm doing something like beachy waves, I will leave that out. And I'm just kind of rolling that back up. And securing with a clip. Now for the front, you can see the section I've kind of carved out. And this is all natural, like there's no extension in here or anything. It's actually a little bit long right now. So what I'm gonna do with that is take it on the iron. And again, I'm curling towards, but this one I'm gonna do really quickly and I'm not gonna hold it for very long. So once I get that tail in, I'm just gonna wind it. I'm not going too close to the forehead. And I'm gonna just hold it. I'm actually not gonna clip this one. If I were to clip this, I would have the bounciest ringlets and that's not really the look I'm going for. So I'm just gonna hold it until it's cool. So maybe like 30 seconds. And you can see just the bounce that it gives. So I kind of like to tell everybody, once you get to this stage, you want to leave these in as long as possible because I started with this side. I'm going to take this side out first. I'm going to let these ones cool a little bit more. But if you were getting ready to go out, I would say this is where you can have a glass of wine, paint your nails, do your makeup, whatever you need to do but leave these in as long as you can. Oh my gosh, that bounce is unmatched and really these are a lifesaver. They're like $4 at Sally's. So it's looking very stiff and stern. So I like juxtaposition. I love that I have this really soft, beautiful style. 
So I want to mess it up. <laughs> um, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of texture spray. And honestly, right now I'm loving the Hair by Sam McKnight Cool Girl Texture Spray. Um, Sam McKnight is my dad. Um, he's a world-renowned hairdresser. So yes, I'm a Nepo baby. One foot in the door and so much more. Um, no, I'm lying. Um, I am not related to Sam McKnight. Um, I wish I was. He's incredible. He is a um, British hairdresser and he really championed grunge hair. So he created like that Kate Moss, like undone texture. Um, and actually he created this hairspray, the cool girl, barely there texture mist for Kate Moss. So when I found that out, I just had to try it. Um, it says, the go-to texturizer for those effortless, sexy, tousled, textured styles. Spritz in, mess it up for the Sam McKnight signature done undone look. So what I'm going to do is shake it up. And I like to kind of start at the bottom and drop the hair into it. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. And then my favorite thing to do, I do this with my clients, is I'll kind of take this front section back and lift it and just hit it right there. And I'll kind of butterfly it as it settles. And I'm just going to kind of finger detangle. And I'm going to just brush it through. And I will say, like, I, on myself, I personally like a bit more of a, like, textured, tousled look. So that's why I tend to go for more of, like, a beachy wave. But... This is really fun for something just a little different, you know? Whenever my hair is super smooth like this, I kind of like to just toss my part around a little. And really, like, because of the way that I put the extensions in, you can't see them anywhere. Like, the extension is here and here. So you can really feel free to throw your hair around. This is great for like going out. Um, it's just a fun way to play with a little bit different texture. And it's really just the type of curl that you create. I use this iron for my beachy waves and I use it for this 90s model blowout. I hope that this video maybe inspired you to try something different with your hair. If you have been thinking about extensions but are maybe a little afraid, I highly recommend the Glam Seamless David Lopez collaboration because for all this vavoom, I only have four pieces in my hair and I love that. And people, when they find out that I wear extensions, are almost kind of like surprised and I say, like, you know, I'm not entirely fake hair. My extensions are only an inch or two longer than my actual hair. And I like them just to give a little body and guts. And David just really hit the, mar hit the nail on the head with this collaboration. So I highly recommend checking them out. I might have a discount code with them still. I'm not sure. I used to. If I do, it'll be linked below. Um, but even if you want to just try this technique with your real hair, I highly recommend. It's such a fun way to switch up your look without having to buy a new tool or really do something super different. Um, you can use the same curling iron that you've been using for your beachy waves. That being said, highly recommend getting some roller clips. Go to Sally's. They're cheap as chips. I love them. These are a staple in my kit when I'm doing bridal hair, event hair, photo shoots, anything like that. So highly recommend. If you made it all this way, 
Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I hope that you'll subscribe. I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. And in the comments, let me know what other hair content you want to see. Um, I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're showing yourself the same kindness and love that you show everybody else. And most importantly, I hope you remember that you're made of gold.